Welcome back, sports fans. Lots of hoops, highlights, and scores going up on a Tuesday. So let's get things started right here in making bib with the Canes and Seminoles. Good old West Side and Rutland rivalry on the hardwood. We pick up action tied up at 42-42, under two minutes in the fourth quarter with the girls. Lady Canes with the ball. Caitlin Green, Michaela Shines, who connects on the short jumper. Canes lead by two. Now on the inbounds pass, Quintanella Williams drives. She gets fouled. She makes one and misses one. The Lady Knowles trailing by one. The Lady Canes would make the free throws down the stretch, and they would win 50 to 42. Is your final score? Time for the fellas. Yeah, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Knowles up by one. Canes ball. Jordan Stevens to Cameron Foreman, who drives the lane, connects on the floater. Canes lead by one. Working quickly, Canes get it to Greg Rutherford, who calls glass. I heard him. And the Canes jump out to a three point lead. Knowles would answer back. Kowasi Reeves drains the triple to tie the game up early. Then Ajanta Balcom to Jabian Mosley, who drives and dishes to Jericho Campbell, who makes the contested shot. Wow. And the Knowles lead 12-6. Mid-second quarter now. Jamarco Hughes drives it past to Greg Rutherford, puts it up and in. Canes lead by a tray ball. Later on, Kowasi Reeves, the super sophomore, steal, takes it for the other end, a one-handed jam. The Knowles lead by half a dozen. Time running out before the half. Otto Foreman tries to get the shot up by Taiwan Clark with the block. Clark gives to Desmond Fawson, who passes to Kowasi Reeves. Yeah, and he finishes with a two-handed flush. And the Seminoles downgrade the Hurricanes, winning 86-75. to now let's check out the action from the Foxy City in Forsyth with Mary Persons picking on Upson Lee early in the first quarter. Check out the handle from Ty Bowie, the behind-the-back crossover, and then drops the floater for two, leading by one. Still in the first, MP driving again. Trayvon Walker going to the UGA next year for football, but he's pretty good at basketball. He's protecting the rim right there with the block. Time winding down the first, Jared Adderton steals. Look at the move right there behind the back and drives, gets the contact and the shot to fall, kissing it off the glass. For the end one, Ups and Lee up by eight. Second quarter of the night starting to pull away. Zarice Scott comes up with a steal. You see him right here. Keeps the dribble alive, then throws down the vicious dunk. Yeah, Zarice scored 26 points. And let's check out the final on this one. Mary Persons, they take the L to Ups and Lee, 72 to 54. Ladies up next, fourth quarter, Taylor Buffington fakes the drive, then fires the three and hits the bottom of the net. Still in the fourth, Upson Lee pushing the ball up the court. Ariel Adderton with a slick pass to Ansley Weeks. Woo! She scores the layup for two. MP answers Jemiah Mann from the top of the key. She buries the triple, but Upson Lee, they would win 56 to 30. More high school scores. Southwest sweeps Bleckley County with the boys winning by four. Perry and Howard split with the Husky boys, winning a shootout. FPD gets two wins at home. The FPD boys enjoying a strong season. And at C's house, Central takes care of business against Kendrick with a clean sweep. More scores. The Stratford girls roll on with an easy win over Twiggs County. The Northeast boys get a nice road win over East Lawrence. Jones County splits with Union Grove with the girls winning and the boys taking a close loss. Waco takes care of the Dublin boys and the veterans boys put 90 on the board in a win 